It's helped me to picture a loving Father in Heaven watching me go through the learning process of life. And, like my Father here on Earth, giving me encouragement and support without robbing me of the chance to learn things for myself. I'll try to teach you that you've got the stuff to make your dreams come true if you'll just try hard enough. But more than anything that I've been dreaming of, I hope you want to fill the world with love. But if I can teach you anything at all, I hope you know I love you more than I can say. I hope you know I love you more than I can say. I should say here that a very important part of our Father in Heaven's plan is individual freedom to choose or free agency. He knew that without the ability to make our own choices and to learn from our individual decisions, the growing process would be virtually impossible. And sometimes when we do something foolish that causes us heartache or pain, we probably wish we hadn't been given so much freedom. I hope you know I love you. An all-wise and an all-knowing father knew that free agency was an essential part of his plan. Many of us, when we reach adolescence, push our free agency to the limit. We start searching for an understanding of who we are and, and what life's all about. And yet, during this time of searching in our lives, if someone were to ask us, I think it would be hard for us to say just what it is we're looking for. When Father sent us here to Earth, he knew that we'd have to struggle to find the answers to life's tough questions. But he hasn't left us alone. Someone has seen what we're looking for. Someone has been down the road before us. And when you think about it, it wouldn't make very much sense for a concerned father to send his children away to learn important truths without also making sure there was a way for us to find those truths. Well. The pattern our Father in Heaven designed for His children to find answers about the purpose of life hasn't changed since the world began. Our Heavenly Father has always spoken to prophets. These special people like Moses and Isaiah are given profound truths from God Himself which are meant to bless all of Heavenly Father's children and to help them to understand His plan. Then He commands His prophets to share these truths with everyone they can. The prophets share the message with all who will listen to them personally or read the things they have written. This is how we get scripture. Prophets write down the things they've learned from God. But God doesn't ask all the rest of his children to simply take their word for it. Our Father in heaven has promised to tell us personally, by the power of the Holy Ghost, what is true, if we ask him. In other words, when we hear or read something that claims to be the truth from our Father in heaven, we can know for ourselves if those things are true. We just have to ask Him. You know, it's really very simple, and yet beautiful. The hard part for me was actually learning how to talk to my Father in Heaven, and to really believe that He would not only hear me, but He would also answer what was in my heart. And I think that's something most of us worry about. It doesn't seem to matter how I try These thoughts just keep returning to my mind Will he really answer me? What my heart needs Will he have the time for me? Will he really answer me? Sure I worried about not being heard when I prayed, but I had a feeling deep down that a loving father would never ignore his child who was really trying to reach him. 
He's never broken his promise He'll be there He hears each word and each heartfelt thought in prayer He's devoted to you He'll help you know what is true That's what he's promised That's what he's promised to do the first time I tried to pray to find out if I was a child of God and if He did really design a plan for us, it was a real struggle inside. The voice of my fears and the voice of His Spirit. Will he He's never broken His promise. He hears each word and each heart. He what my heart needs. He's devoted. kind of hard to talk about and almost impossible for me to describe, but my simple prayer was heard and answered. Of all the evidence there is that God loves us, nothing is as sweet and as real or as lasting as having received an honest answer to a sincere prayer. I know if he answers me, he'll answer you. He answered me. He answered me. He answered me. He'll answer I said earlier that happiness is fleeting, and I guess it is really. There'll always be times of trouble, times of unhappiness, sorrow. But when I had that experience of having my prayer answered, it gave me something that I can hang on to in those troubled times. I now know that I am a child of God, and that He'll always be there, and that I can talk to him at any time like a friend, like a heavenly father. And he'll be there. He'll hear me. I hope you can experience that for yourself. I really do. Before we move on, I'd like to clarify something. God spoke to prophets thousands of years ago in the Middle East, and their sacred record is the Holy Bible. And he also loved his children who lived on the American continent back then, and he spoke to prophets there as well. Their record of scripture is called the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. In fact, our Father in Heaven continues to speak to living prophets today, exactly the same way He did in Bible times. And just like in Bible times, we can know the truth of the prophet's words for ourselves if we ask our Heavenly Father in prayer. That's why I'm so grateful that our Father in Heaven has promised to answer our prayers about whom we should follow. When Father in Heaven sent us here to Earth to gain physical bodies and learn by experience, He knew two things would happen. First of all, our bodies would get old and diseased, wear out and die. And second, because of our free agency, we'd make mistakes and sin. Now, these two things, sin and death, 
would make it impossible for us to return to our Father in Heaven. 